weather is getting cooler and the leaves are starting to change from the bright green of summer to the sultry warm tones of autumn. For many of us, that means it's time to pull out those fall shades and bring the attention to our eyes. The only question many of us have is, how can I get started? Thankfully, we're being joined by Megan Birch, a makeup artist based in Sioux Falls, and she's here with her lovely model, Sarah Westerman, to show us how we can get that perfect fall eye look in a blink. Welcome, ladies. Ooh, hi, thanks for having us. Yes, thanks for coming in. We always love when we get to talk about new makeup trends, but we were oh, talking yeah. beforehand, Megan, and you mm -hmm. mentioned that you're excited about the eyes this year. Yeah, I feel like for so long, it's been that really like clean girl, like no eyeshadow, focusing more on like your skin and everything. And then fall, you know, you go a little darker with everything, maybe your hair, maybe your clothes, and it's kind of cool, eyes are the focus again. All right, so we're going darker with the eyes. Yeah. Yes, so um, kind of a trend right now is to do not very much with your skin. I know for some people that's like you would never, but um, that bare naked yeah, face look, yeah, just like very minimal, and then really focusing on the eyes and making them a little bit more smoky and seductive, a little bit more fall. So how do we get this look without looking like we have a black eye? Because right. I know that's what would happen to me if I tried to do this. Oh yeah, I'd say just like moderation, like a little goes a long way. Like maybe start with just eyeliner, like do it um, all around, smudge it out really subtle with like your regular neutral, that's really pretty. Or you can just like smoke out with a fun color, that's really fun without going too crazy. All right, well, let's have you demonstrate now what you mean yes. on how to smoke out and make it smudgy. For sure. So. I actually have kind of like a colored liner, which is cool. Um, this is going to be really pretty on Sarah's eyes because she's got really pretty green eyes. Um, so like I'm just going to yeah, go in. I already have a little bit of liner on. I'm just going to go on top. This is more like a thick, smudgy one. Yeah, just kind of make a line. And then you can take any brush. It can be clean or it's kind of fun too. You can put a little like shadow on it just to make it a little softer blend and just kind of work that out. I definitely recommend using eyeshadow if you're not super confident in your liner skills, just kind of adding that on top really makes a difference. So that just kind of makes it a little extra. So you're like just you're going, going in out. and kind of using it for your eyeliner to kind of blend into the eye then oh yeah not like that straight black line that we always get when we right. use like liquid eyeliner yeah maybe not so middle school or anything. yeah a little bit more soft um i might have you look up too i'm gonna go underneath and this i think is what really makes the difference in giving you that smoky look adding a little more on the underneath and i'm actually gonna go in with kind of a purple there so it makes her eyes pop so you use the same color on the bottom that you use on the top. And I know a lot of times we use highlighter and stuff mm -hmm. underneath and concealer because yeah. we want that brighter eye. Right. So how can you get that look under there, that smudged look, but without mm. it making you look tired? I would say just balance it out. Like you can always um, highlight again to get that brightness back. Like you could either take like a lighter shimmer or a lighter matte. You can go like right in your corner and really brighten that up. And go like your brow bone or if you have more of like a mat that's lighter you could even go in and have you look up you can just kind of go right below where you put that dark and just make sure that's still nice and bright then and you don't clean it up yeah you don't lose the brightness yeah super pretty so with the actual natural part of the eye too where mm. you don't put the smudging or the darker colors oh yeah where do you want to do like the lighter colors that you're using? Um, I would say anywhere where you want to be bright is really pretty, like um, in the inner corner, or I do like just right on the lid here. That's where we say the eye looks the roundest, where you can kind of see where it curves. Keeping that light just makes your eyes still look big. And I think that's kind of the key to not looking dark yeah. all the way around is keeping that light there. Doing the smudging look too, oh, yeah. I feel like there's more eyeliner. Mm. I know it's more of a smudged look, it's not that straight line, but I feel like there's more eyeliner on your eye. Is there any type mm. of eye that you would recommend not using that because it's taking up more space on your eye? Right, I'd say if you have smaller eyes and not a lot of space to work with between your lash line and your eyebrow, um, you may just wanna take like a really tiny pencil liner Close your eyes, like scribble right into your eyelashes, like right at the roots, okay. and then smudge that out a little bit. 
then you won't get it like all the way on your eyelid. Your eyes will still look nice and big. So I was doing some research on yeah. some eye trends for fall and I came across colors and yes. one of them was blue. How in the world would you add a color like blue to your eyes Ooh, and yes. not look like a clown? Um, I would say not doing it all over, kind okay. of like the dark. I would just maybe start with a liner. Like I think like right in your inner rim would be really pretty. It would kind of be like, uh, oh, what's that about her that's so bright and pretty, but <laughs> right. you don't really see the blue so much. They actually did that in breakfast at Tiffany's, which is kind okay. of funny. They did like a really light blue in her waterline and it was really pretty. What um, are some other colors that are great to switch up and add to your yes. eye makeup when it comes to eyeshadow? Ooh, yeah, so I brought a few really pretty fall palettes. Um, just kind of depends on your skin tone. Like I really like these more like peachy sort of pinky colors for like fair skin, for blue eyes. Um, it's really pretty to go kind of like red or orange kind of for like Sarah's skin tone, like a little bit more medium, a little bit more green eyes that looks really pretty. I like the dark green, it's, it's almost like a navy. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like a navy, which is a really great alternative to black. Um, and then this I love, it's kind of got like that mustardy, like green sort of vibe that looks really pretty on brown eyes. Um, so you can kind of play around without going bright. It's a little more like those muted colors but still color yeah I like oh, yeah. the tips you gave too with the color of eyeshadow and mm -hmm. using it to work with the color of your eyes yeah definitely because if you get the tones right and I can show you too um, it really makes your eyes pop right yeah. kind of playing off that eye color and making it pop even more oh yeah oh I love it well thank you so much for coming in today and teaching us these tips because oh. I'd love to switch up my makeup routine. I'm sure a lot of people would, but it's really hard to do that. So right, thank you so yeah, much. Of course. Thank you.